Terrence Bud Crawford was the biggest star at top rank in any weight class since Manny Pacquiao. Let's talk. Straighter, yep. not yep. roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about, the straight shot. It's the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull back a, a little seconds. bit. No, nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as long as you're trying to fight the great, the, your, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're the game. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're the game. Fight the best if you ain't with the moto. Just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you're here, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches cry cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch. Hate that. We the best to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Come to the graveyard. Click the link, get the bands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Terrence Bud Crawford. The biggest name in top rank. He was when he was there. He's still the biggest name in top rank right now, and he's not even with top rank. <laughs> oh, no, it's Lomachenko. Oh, no, no, it's Tyson Fury. Oh, no, it's it's Lopez, T.F. Miller. No, the biggest name at top rank, and he's not even there, is Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford is the only fighter that top rank had that they thought that they can put him in there with just anybody and put him on pay-per-view. He's the only one. They did not put Vasil Lomachenko in there with just anybody on pay-per-view. As a matter of fact, they didn't put Vasil Lomachenko on pay-per-view at all because they did not believe that he had drawing power. All of his fights have been on free TV because he has no drawing power at all. Zero. They won't even test the market. Because they don't want him to be looked at as a failure and a flop. Tyson Fury does not fight on pay-per-view. Tyson Fury fights on pay-per-view with Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury on free TV. At most did 25000 And that was before he signed with Top Rank. And that was against Francisco Pianetta because they was lining him up to fight Deontay Wilder. After he fought Deontay Wilder in the first match... He fought uh, Tom Twats, and they did 5.5K, real number, 5.5K. After that, he fought Outer Box, and they did 3.5K. That's 3,500, 5,500. Oh, by the way, they were paying him $20 million a fight. They were giving Terrence Bud Crawford $3 million a fight, and the man was averaging a million views. 871 or 8, eight something like that for Molina. Molina, a nobody. A damn near a million for Diaz, another nobody. Damn near 3 million for Jose Benavidez coming off a, a, an injury, in a, a being stabbed or shot in his leg. Did damn near 3 million. The damn near two million against green beans. A little bit over two million against used, washed up Kell Brook. Yes, Terrence Bud Crawford was and is the biggest star at top rank. Still, and he's not even with them. Terrence Bud Crawford makes top rank relevant even right now because of the lawsuit.
He is the biggest name over there, and he's been the biggest name since Manny Pacquiao. He's been the biggest star since Manny Pacquiao, without question. If Terrence Bud Crawford wasn't at top rank, we wouldn't even talk about top rank at all. Who the fuck would we be talking about? Yeah, we we just now be bringing up top rank when it came to Ger Gerald, uh, Gerald, big, the real big baby Jared Anderson. We just now be talking about that. Maybe with Edgar Belanga. We just now be talking about it with Tyson Fury over the past two years. You guys would be golden boy. Y'all, you would be irrelevant. Top rank would be irrelevant without Terrence Crawford. Irrelevant. Absolutely irrelevant. He is and was the biggest star at top rank, and it wasn't even close. They had zero faith in Vasil Lomachenko. They did not put not one of his fights on pay-per-view, not even Guillermo Rigondeaux. Why not? Why not Guillermo Rigondeaux? The test of the water. You tested the waters because this man was pulling in damn near a million views by himself. So you tested the waters with Terrence Bud Crawford. And you put him on pay-per-view with Victor Postow. You tested the waters. Well, how come you didn't test the waters with Vasil Lomachenko? How come you didn't test it? Guillermo Rigondeaux is a name, was a name. Guillermo Rigondeaux was undefeated. Guillermo Rigondeaux had the exact same accolades as Vasil Lomachenko. A two-time gold medalist Olympian. That had a story. Why was that fight not on pay-per-view? Why didn't you test the waters like you tested the waters with Victor Postal and Terrence Crawford? Why didn't you test them? You had a better opponent. Guillermo Rigondeaux was way more known than Victor Postal. Way more known. You had a better opponent to test the waters and Lomachenko's white. So you had a white fighter with fighting a black fighter who was a better opponent. You could have played the race card to say, well, you played it with Victor Postal and Terrence Crawford. Except for the, the better fighter was Vasil Lomachenko. Why didn't you have Vasil Lomachenko and, and Guillermo Rigondeaux on pay-per-view to test the waters, to test Loma's drawing power, to entice a tank versus Loma fight on pay-per-view? And if you wasn't going to have that one, why didn't you have Tifima Lopez and Vasil Lomachenko on pay-per-view? But you'll put Amir Khan, Amir Khan versus Terrence Crawford on pay-per-view. Amir Khan, Amir Khan, who was knocked unconscious, who was knocked com completely the fuck out. And you put that on pay-per-view with Terrence Crawford. But you don't put Tifima Lopez, the, the so-called knockout puncher. You don't put this big puncher, the star. You don't put that on pay-per-view and y'all fight in New York. Wow. Wow. You have zero, zero faith in Vasil Lomachenko's drawing power. And you had all the faith in Terrence Crawford's. All the faith. You believed that Terrence Crawford was going to draw. You believed it. All the hype and hoopla, y'all, the lies y'all wanted to make up, how y'all was capping and dick riding for Vasil Lomachenko and, and Tyson Fury. You did none of that for Terrence Crawford, but you just believed the man was going to draw. Why? I thought black fighters don't sell. I thought black fighters don't sell. That's what you said. Black fighters don't sell. It's the Mexicans and, and the UK guys. So why didn't you put Vasil Lomachenko on pay-per-view? Why was the only fighter on pay-per-view against nobodies, Terrence Bud Crawford, against guys coming off losses, guys who were viciously knocked out, broken, uh, all beat, broken and beat the fuck up? Why weren't those? Why were those fights not on free TV? Why wasn't Vasil Lomachenko fighting on pay-per-view? The speed, the footwork, the combination angles—the greatest fighter since Muhammad Ali. Why isn't all Tyson Fury's fights on pay-per-view? He's better than Muhammad Ali. Tyson Fury beats Muhammad Ali. He beats everybody. He's too big, too fast, too strong. He's a heavyweight, middleweight. He beats them all. So why isn't he on pay-per-view for all of his fights? I'm just curious. Why isn't he on pay-per-view for all of his fights? For as much as y'all hooping and hooping and hollering and gassing these motherfuckers up, 
why aren't you putting his fights on pay-per-view to see their drawing power? Because Tyson Fury without Deontay Wilder doesn't even do a million views. It doesn't even do half a million views. It doesn't even do 100,000 views. Tyson Fury without Deontay Wilder is nothing. Nothing. Tyson Fury without a draw, without a, 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 a dancing partner, a good partner, is nothing. He does zero views on free TV. They gave away more tickets than they sold. Vasil Lomachenko has zero drawing power, which is the reason why you guys don't want to taint his name by putting him on pay-per-view and watching his fucking fight fail. Putting him on pay-per-view and he does 60,000 pay-per-view buys. Oh, well, you know... We expect eh, we expend expected Vasily Lomachenko his numbers to not be good. In all reality, sixty thousand buys is a great number. We was expecting a lot less. Yeah, you'll say some super shit like that because you don't want him on pick and pay per view because you know he can't sell. But you believed that Terrence Crawford was going to sell. Yeah, he's gonna sell. Yeah, so so you fucked up with te- with Floyd Mayweather, and you thought you had your second Floyd Mayweather. Let's test the waters. Let's put him in there against Victor Postal on pay per view to see if we got the second Floyd Mayweather. Let's test the waters. Did fifty thousand views or fifty thousand buys? Let's test it again. <laughs> Let's test it again. We got Amir Chin Khan. Let's test it again. And I can tell you they were testing it because they were not fighting overseas. This had nothing to do with with uh, lo, uh, um, Amir Khan's drawing power. Nothing at all. Because if it did, they wouldn't be fighting overseas. They run their mouth talking about how the UK sells and the UK this and the UK that. But you fought Amir Khan in America. If the UK sells and the UK this and the UK that, then you would have fought Amir Khan in the UK. You fought him in America. You were testing Terrence Crawford's Drawing power, not Amir Khan's. Not Amir Khan's. You fought Sean Porter on pay per view to again test Terrence Crawford's drawing power because you wanted to see if the numbers were going to equal up or be better than Errol Spence's drawing power. And they were not. They were abysmal. Abysmal. Not even half. So again, you were testing Terrence Crawford's drawing power. I say all that to say this. You've never tested anybody else's drawing power. Because you know your top star at top rank was Terrence Bud Crawford. And you knew it for a fact, which is why you never even tried, even attempted to test Lomachenko's or test Tyson Fury's without Deontay Wilder. Didn't even try. Because you know better. Terrence Bud Crawford is the biggest star at top rank. Still. BFTB. Shout to the mighty. Mighty. LDBC. And I'm out.